Dear friends in Christ, welcome to our daily reflection for the 31st of July and Monday of the 17th week in the ordinary time. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola. He began life as a soldier. On one of his battles, he was wounded and during the period of recuperation, he asked for books and was given the life of Christ and the lives of the saints. Reading these books led to his conversion and he thought, if I were to do what they did, he then decided to work for the kingdom of God. He gathered a group of companions who became the first Jesuits. His work, the spiritual exercises, has been of great influence in the church. We can, like him, ask ourselves the same question. What if I were to do what the saints did? In our first reading today, taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verses 15 to 24, and verses 30 to 34, we see how quickly the human mind can turn away from God to the worship of idols. Moses had been away from the camp to meet with God. His return took longer than the people expected. So they turned to Aaron, asking him to fashion an image they can worship for them. The failure of Aaron to persuade the people to keep faith with Moses and with God saw him fashioning a golden calf for them. On his return, Moses raged in anger, destroyed the calf, burned it with fire, and ground it to powder, which he scattered over the water and made them drink of it. He then returned to the Lord to atone for the sins of the people. How often do people who profess faith in God turn to idols for help when they perceive God is silent about their condition. It's sometimes too easy in the day of adversity for some to forget a lifetime of many good things. On the side of Aaron, his excuse from being the priest of God to fashioning a calf for the people looks lame. He said, let not the anger of the Lord burn hot. You know the people that they are set on evil. For they said to me, Make us gods who shall go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. And I said to them, Let any who have gold take it off. And so they gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and there came out this calf. Is faith to be decided by popular opinion? Is God to be worshipped the way the people want or the way God wants to be worshipped? Should priests bow to popular demands in faith matters or remain firm on the teaching of the church? The parable of the mustard seed as found in Matthew chapter 13 verses 31 to 35 points to the enormous growth of the kingdom despite its humble and minute beginnings. The kingdom of God crosses the boundaries of nations, race, and color into the areas where even the human sower may not have intended. The birds of the air finding refuge in its branches is a reference to the inclusion of Gentiles and pagans in the kingdom of God, an issue of concern even to the early Christians. It is obviously not a reason to turn to pagan idols. Word for today. Open your Bible to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 35. It says, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. Let us pray. O God, we give ourselves to you today. Keep us in your love always. Amen. 
May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.